And how do things- Whoa! What the hell? Why? Where? Crap! Hello everybody, Grace Blaze, and we're back with more of the long dark in the story mode. So I did some stuff off camera. I made a freaking boatload of bandages, and I gifted them to this lady over here, the glorious and wizened Grey Mother. And with that, I didn't want to click on any of this until I uh, had you guys with me. We got a bunch of stuff. Uh, I unlocked 374 trust. I think 350 is the amount that you need to get all the cool stuff. We got rabbit skin mitts over here. If you want to survive out here, you have to learn to be self-sufficient, right? When I was growing up, we understood what that meant. When something wore out, we couldn't just go online and order a new one. Oh, those days. Have it magically drone delivered to your door. Ah! As a little girl, I already knew how to hunt rabbits. And turn their skins into clothes! Poor little buddy. <laughs> I'll tell you how it's done. So. I assume we, like, automatically now know how to do that. Uh, protection. There are a lot of wolves around here. Watch out, people say they can smell your fear. You think I could, uh, borrow that rifle of yours? You live in overly defenseless so you can protect yourself? Shame on you, Mackenzie. Of course not, but it would be nice to have a bit of protection out there. Surely someone else in this town must have owned a gun of some kind. Old Henry McDermott used to be with the Coast Guard. He kept a distressed pistol around just in case. To call for help? Right, Henry was always worried about kids getting their hands on it, so it won't be easy to find. Thanks. What else do we have around here? Great Bear. What can you tell me about Great Bear? Nothing you can't read in the history books. Uh, oh, for goodness sake, take this one. I, all right, that was odd. I guess maybe we got a history book. And then finally, supplies. Milton seems very remote. What do you do in medical emergencies? Ha! Huh, we do what we always do, we take care of our own. But what about outsiders? Yeah, what about me, lady? Come on, man. I can see you'll need help. I heard gossip about the Millers kept some sort of supply kit hidden in their back garden. Goods they smuggled in from the mainland didn't want anyone to know about. If you can find them, you should take them. You'll need them. Alright. So. We did a bunch of things. We unlocked the mittens. We got some new knowledge. We got some new missions. Uh, and there you go. So we go over here to the crafty craft. We should now be able to see. There they are, baby. Rabbit skin mitts. Oh, it takes four rabbit pelts. Come on, man. Rabbit skin mitts. They make you clumsy, but they're very warm. Kind of like wearing a rabbit on your hands. There it is. There's the, <laughs> There's the quote. Oh, I love that quote. All right, let's uh, let's go over to our missions. Get the climbing gear. Okay, so we, we're gonna do that. It's gonna be a million pounds in order to do that, though. Uh, there should be some additional. Oh, side quests. Here we go. Use directions from the gray mother to find hidden things and more hidden things. Okay, so let's go get this stuff done real quick, and then we're gonna get the climbing gear. Out we go. How are the wolves looking? Quite wolfy. There are two wolves. Yeah, these wolves are multiplying. This is some bull crap over here. Over by the map. Here we are at the Milton house. So, if we take the road, let's see over here. If we take this road, second house on the left. Okay. So, all right. This is going to be a little, a little harrowing, actually. Oh God. All right. So this road. Second house on the left. Oh, look! Right toward the wolves! Of course! Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Hold on. Let's see if we can do this without getting freaking attacked. Gotta keep a real eye out right now, too. There's another deer right there as well. Because I think that the wolves were heading this way. I'm just looking for motion right now. In my... Not really the peripherals. But in my visuals. There we go. All right, let's round the bend over here. I, oh, right over there. See that guy? Well, oh, that guy, that creature, right there. I don't know if it's male or female. Did we not bust into this? Oh, we certainly did. Okay, so far so good. And we want the second house over here. So it should be this one. Um, I don't know if if it's inside or not. Did we? We've already well, been in a lot of these. Must have hidden that weapon in here somewhere. Oh. Yeah, we were in here, so it looks like maybe now it's been unlocked or something. Like, the ability to find it? 
there anything inside the microwave? I hate the fact that it doesn't show like microwave empty. I would appreciate it if it was empty. I could see inside of my microwave. I don't know why it wouldn't show you that it would be empty. Like, you know, it's clear. All right. Let's see what we got over here. That's just out. More cloth. I feel I might actually rip down some of this cloth because I used so much of it for uh, bandages to give to Gray Mother. More of that, more of that. How about over here? Is there anything unusual inside of any of these drawers? Aha! I was looking through all the paintings. I thought maybe it was behind a painting, but actually, Thank it's goodness. underneath the rug. And we got several. Oh, wow. Holy God. Okay. Yep. Flare shells all day. So we have, I think we have like, didn't we find a bunch of other flare shells on top of this? What is this under tools? Would it be? It is. 10 flare shells. Wow. Uh, is this under weapons? It is. Okay. Crack it open. Load a shell up just so that we have one prepared in case of an emergency. Look at that. Now we can zoom very, very minorly. Like, very minorly. I'm going to go ahead and put this away so I'm not blasting anything with it. All right, looks like we have a catch over here. So go down the road, and then it's behind, like, the last house. It looks like. Oh, as a matter of fact, you know what? We're going to go ahead and grab something to eat real quick. I have a ton. I still have a ton of food on me. All right. Let's walk our happy asses over this way. Couple of sticks on the ground. I think I'm gonna leave them there. Sticks are something we uh, have plenty of. Uh, well, we have the potential to find plenty of them. I've never had a stick shortage in the story mode yet. Really haven't had anything of a shortage in this story mode. Last one on the right. So head on out of town over here. And then I can call this up in a moment's notice. Well, he does have to cock it. That's the only problem. It takes that split second to cock it, but I think we would probably be fine more than likely. Okay. So over here, this is, whoa. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Is that two? I don't know. That's at least one right there. Okay. That's a, that's a friggin' issue. Uh, let's go this way. Over here. Did I set a fire down? Oh, yeah. I remember. I had a wolf. That was all annoyed at me the last time. There it is. Found it. Found it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, an energy bar and more painkillers. Okay. The antiseptic, I'm not really that worried about. The energy bar is fine. Uh, the painkillers are real nice. Because we had found some a little bit ago, but it's always nice to have more. So, we're getting ready to head out of here. There's really not much else I want to do with this deer. I think, I mean, realistically, well, I mean, I, we could we could fillet it up and maybe grab some meat off of it to fill our belly up. Yeah, let's see what let's see what we got over here. Yeah, 1.2 kilograms of meat. Sure, why not? The hatchet's looking pretty beat. Uh, I think that we may be able to repair the hatchet somehow. Oh, lucky us. We didn't even that didn't even use any of our uh, hatchet durability. I think that you can repair a hatchet with fur wood and a tool kit, if I remember correctly. But we're going to have to think about what we want to take with us during our trek out of here. The weather isn't bad yet. We still have quite a bit of daytime left. Let's go ahead and broil this up, eat it, and then grab those uh, the climbing stuff that we're going to need from the uh, from her daughter. Was it the granddaughter or the daughter? I think it was the daughter from the daughter's room. All right, all of the meat belongs to us here we are in is this the daughter's room or is this the gray mother's room hold on maybe over here i was gonna say everything looked pretty unhappy with mother of god what happened you know i haven't actually gone up here or did i go up here i don't remember now look at this though i do love the art palette that this game has it is fantastic this trunk has to be it yep this is it Grab the items, my man. Mackenzie, we're going on a friggin' journey. Look at that. Five kilograms for that That's rope. Like a lot of gear. Whoa! A Mackinac jacket. Okay, this is good. Worn climbing socks and Lily's map. A map that shows Lily's climbing route leading out of the Milton area. All right. So, this is going to take us out of here. Paradise Lost. The only problem is to climb, we have to have no burden. And as you can see... We are burdened like a mofo right now. So I'm going to have to fix that up real smooth. Uh, let's go over here real quick, though, because, again, 
Which of these socks are in slightly better condition? Okay, this one is. Um. Oh, these socks are crap. That's why. Well, no, they're not crap, but they're they need to be repaired. Let's repair the climbing socks. I think that the climbing socks are some of the best socks in the game, if I remember correctly. So let's see over here. Uh, decent wool at ninety percent. Five zero. Yeah, look at this. Oh wow. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So we're going to put those on there, and then we'll put on the better wool socks right over here. That's going to help. And the Mackinac jacket, if I remember correctly, is also one of the best jackets. So it's at 69%. Let's go ahead and repair it. It takes two cloth for this one. Let's go ahead and repair this up real quick. Man, we are outfitted to the freaking gills. Like, you have no idea right now. I've, I've never seen this much gear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be just fine. Oh, Will's coat. I'm gonna have to get rid of it because it does shave off uh, 0.25 kilograms to get rid of his coat. And these two are exactly the same. You know what? I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna drop it. Okay. And then we're gonna put this on. And now we're looking freaking Canadian big time. But the problem is we're still at 41 kilograms. So time for me to do some. Uh, Time for me to do some big time freaking inventory management. But first, before we do, let's talk to her and see if there's anything for her to say. Okay, just leave me. And then, is there anything else trust-wise? Probably not. Okay, there's not. So, that's fine. We're finished. Alright. I just got rid of a ton of crap. I mean, flares, accelerant, lantern fuel, coal, food... A lot of stuff. We had to get, we have to get our burden out. We've got, it, you know, as much of a pack rat as I love to be, this part of the game is about moving from place to place, getting stuff done. So what we're going to do is it's pretty late. It's getting pretty late right now. We're going to get asleep, eat everything that we can to get as full up as possible. We'll grab maybe a bottle of water or two. We're five kilograms over, which is fine because the mountaineering rope weighs five kilograms and we have to tie it off in order to even use it so we're gonna lose that when we use it and then we're gonna get on out of here all right sun's up let's head on downstairs and start eating like freaking kings over here eating like kings what do i have i have salty crackers i think we have like an mre or something laying around yeah let's eat the mre that's 0.5 freaking kilograms that almost filled us up completely actually i think that's going to fill us up completely okay Finish off, well, almost finish off this drink. We're at 33 kilograms. Let's grab one more bottle of water. Boop, there we go. And that should be enough for now. Over here with the map, where are we heading? Where in the world are we heading? There's the crash ship. Over here, Paradise Lost. So it's almost like we have to follow, go down here, make a right, and then follow this. It looks like the road eventually ends. And then we're going to have to find this area. All right. Sounds good. Let's freaking do this. I've got tons of flares. I got my flare gun. We should be fairly well protected. What's the temperature like? Two arrows down, huh? All right. A little bit foggy. A little bit craptastic. The critters, the freaking uh, crows are still all over this. Oh, man. Weird sounds in the daytime. Still all over this poor deer. I'm sorry, dear. I'm sorry that I had to take your delicious meat. But, uh, it will feed us for many, many... Well, actually, it fed us for, like, one night. I told you, man. You you go through so many calories in this game. It's like... you. T it takes, like, 5,000 calories just to stay fed all day long. I guess if you were, like, a professional athlete or something, that would make sense. But for some dude who's like in probably his late 30s, early 40s, that spends his time drinking alcohol and sometimes flying a plane, I feel like that may be a little much. I don't know. And plus, well, now here's the question. Does being in like this horrid cold environment cause you to burn more calories? Or does it make your body go a little bit dormant and you burn less calories? I'm, ca I'm actually a little bit curious about that. So... How's things looking right now? Over here. Things are looking okay. Woo, okay. Things are not looking as good as I originally thought they were looking. Wide berth. Wide berth for Wolficus the Mighty over there. Oh, you freaking jerk wolf. You have to head this way too. 
It's like they know. It's like, oh, Gray's heading toward the right, huh? Guess I'll just pad my little wolfy ass over on that way. Yeah, you freaking jerk. You hang out right where you are. Want to keep a vigilant eye on both sides of the screen. This way we know when something horrible cometh. I think we're okay, though, so far. Let's, uh, let's see. Where, okay, good. Where about would, would that wolf pop up at? I don't really know. Oh, windshield protection. Isn't that freaking nice? I can't remember also if we went past this area. I feel like we didn't. Like, I know I said something like, oh, there's like a little posty thing over there. We should go past it. And then we didn't. No, you know what? I'm not getting it. I, we're already we're already having as many problems as problems could have with our freaking uh, inventory stuff. So let us not do this. Yeah, this has to, yeah, we stopped at the, uh, at the, the outhouses over there, little porta potties. So, oh, little bunny. Oh, little bunny. You scared the living crap out of me. Oh, I took a bunch of cured gut with me too. This way we can uh, use it potentially. Warning notice. A weathered looking Milton and area parks board notice. Looks like it's been here a while. All right. We'll check that out in just a second. Man, this is like freaking bunny bunny heaven over here. Listen to all the bunnies. I can hear them flip-flopping and hopping all over the place. All right, over here to our notes of power to see what this one has to say about it. Here we go. Due to the unfortunate accident, the Milton and Area Parks Board can no longer condone the use of climbing area within the park boundaries. Additionally, recent seismic activity has brought the safety of several some common routes and climbing sections into question reviewing safety policies and we'll publish findings as soon as possible. Until then, please refrain from using the designated climbing areas in the park. Great. So they're like, yeah, guys, it is really, really, really a bad idea to climb. And the gray mother's like, yeah, climbing is your only way out, buddy. So you freaking do what you got to do. And that's fine. We are going to do what we got to do. Oh, there's like a uh, there's like a thing up here. It's like a little, little climbing hut or something like that. Or maybe like a parks and rec center. Let's go check it out. Now, I don't know exactly where we're supposed to be going here when it comes to the climbing. I'm just, like, following what I believe to be a fairly linear path, hoping that it brings me in the right direction. This is cool. Huh. Let's check out what's inside over here. Now, can wolves get in here? Usually wolves can't go inside of buildings, but we're really not inside of a building. Oh, hi, Stacy. How you doing? Another Stacy grape soda as well. We're probably going to drink those very soon because they are... Some of the weightiest things you can have. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee. Pot-bellied stove as well. Oh, this is a place you can sleep, is it? Inside of the crate, a whole lot of nothing. Inside of these crates. Oh, you can't hide from me. Flare shells right over there, boys. Flare shells right over there. And they're going to help us out big time. Inside of the first aid kit, give me another power bar. Um, okay, an emergency stim is actually a very good item to have. A fleece cowl. I don't think that this is at all going to be better than anything that we have, unless it's an accessory. It is not. Um, I mean, I'll check it out. Well, it's actually not terrible. Um, let's see. It's a little bit better at the wind chill. It's a little bit worse at heat. And it doesn't really resist the water and stuff as good. It actually weighs a little bit more, too. Yeah, we're, we're not going to worry about this. We're just going to go ahead and drop that for right now. If that was an accessory or something like that, man, I would have grabbed that all day long. Oh, a telephone that we can't use. But there's also another orange soda. Mm, orange soda and a whole mess of drawers. So let's start looking through all the drawers here. Crunchy stuff. Okay, that's fine. I'll take a little bit of crunchy stuff. Fruit and nuts or nuts and chocolate or whatever the hell it is. Over here. Uh, scrap metal. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Over here, a whole lot of nothing. It looks like there's something on the table over there. Newsprint, I don't care about that. A flare shell, I will take. Look at that. Oh, it's a mouse. It's a crappy mouse. I thought, oh, there's another drawer right here, too. Look at that. Little drawer trying to hide from us. Finally, some, hold on a second. I need to point something out. The base of this computer is from, like, 1981. But the freaking screen is a, it looks like at least an LCD or maybe even an LED screen. That's kind of unusual. How are we doing food and drink wise? Man, we are pretty topped up. I don't even need, I don't even know if I need to drink anything right now. All right, let's continue to head out. The fog's rolling in too. Great. 
Oh, wow, the fog is real. Holy crap. Uh, this is terrible. However, yeah, the cold goes down. Or it's not as cold when the fog rolls in. And I could have sworn that there was something else over here. Wasn't there like another little structure over here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. I was going to say, with the way the fog is right now, I can't see crap. Uh, we have a billion rose hips, so I'm not going to worry about that. Over here, sometimes there's like little items and stuff that you can find. A bench. Okay, there's a climbing uh, rope release area, whatever you like. Tie-off point. That's probably what it's called. Nothing over here, huh? Not even a dead body. A lot of times there's dead bodies and the crows are circling around in areas such as this. Now, one thing to note. Oh, this is not a tie-off area. Okay. I guess the tie-off area is somewhere over here. Because if you, if you linger your mouse over it, it will tell you that you're in the right region for tying off ropes. There it is. That's it. That, that is definitely it. I was wrong the last time, but I can feel my rightness shining through now. But I definitely want to look for just boxes and stuff like that. Because every once in a while, you do find boxes. Like, there's probably hidden stuff all over here, man. Again, though, carrying any of it out of here is going to be a pain in the ass. When you tie off, by the way, it takes a longer time than you think. That's why in uh, over in uh, our other mode that we played, the interloper mode, some people were like, you need to tie the rope off. Yeah, you're dead by the time you get that rope tied off, man. All right, uh, we, need to get our, we need to get our stuff down, so let's go ahead and drink a quick drink. That'll probably fill us up all the way. It basically did. Mm. What's the problem? Oh, you're, you're getting a little bit cold, man? I don't even go. Getting cold. We're just fine. I'm going to drop down the rest of these. And we need a little bit more of something dropped off. The salty crackers I want to keep. I freaking love my salty crackers. We have, what is this, like, sad little... Oh, it, we must have filled up on MRE, so we didn't need it. Um, we could drink this just for the hell of it. But instead, I think... Actually, you know what? Sure. We'll drink it. Give us a little bit of a caffeine hype. You know how it is. There we go. Our fatigue is now reduced, which is good. Because it takes a lot of fatigue to get down this. Here we go, boys. No burden. Getting down. Well, you know, getting down the rope, not like getting down dancing. But we're getting down as we do. And how do things... Whoa! What the hell? Why? Where? Crap. Okay, that legitimately just scared the piss out of me. What the hell? <laughs> I guess that rope was older than it looked. Yeah, no kidding. Man, what a bunch of crap. Find a route that leads through the mountains. Yeah, the climbing worked out freaking great. Any additional side quests that we need? Uh, oh, there was one more uh, supply cache. I'm not going to worry about that. We have all the supplies in the universe over here. How are we feeling? Oh, we're feeling just fine. That's interesting. I would have thought that we were a little bit more damaged, but I guess not. Oh, we lost a little bit of, uh, of our condition. That's all that happened, really. Things are clearing up a little bit, thank God. Because going through this mountain pass on top of not being able to see... Would be something that I would not enjoy very much of. But right now, oh, this is, I'm telling you, man. That art style. Some people are like, eh, it's all just white. Just white and more white. It's about making the white look good when you blend in a little, like, of that Bob Ross feel over here. Maybe almost like, um, Thomas Kincaid or something. Let's, let's walk on down here. Yeah, the light's coming up. Coming on to midday in a little bit. And I see something over here. Is that a post or is that a sapling? It looks like a post. But if it was a sapling... Oh, yeah, things have really cleared up. Oh, this is hot. This is what I'm talking about. Climbing area. All right, yeah, let's just follow the road signs. And things... And we should be rewarded, I imagine. A couple of tree limbs around here. We got some more reishi mushrooms. And a dead something. Uh, the reishi mushrooms, I don't think I have a ton of these because I think I gave all of them to the Grey Mother. So I'm going to grab at least a couple real quick just to have them. I probably, when you guys were looking through my inventory when I was messing around, I probably have like 400 of them. You guys are like, Grey, you have 18 million reishi mushrooms. Well, guess what? Now we have a couple more. Reishi mushrooms, after all, if nothing else, do give you a little bit of a calorie boost. Six reishi mushrooms should be plenty. 
I'm just walking over here to see what this has to say. Climbing area. Oh. So we went from a climbing area to a climbing area. Excellent. Oh, dead deer. Dead deer, and we have a cave over here. And this cave, no doubt, means something. I want to check over there real quick as well. What do you got on you, deer? A little bit of meat? A little bit of gut? A little bit of hide? All right. I'll probably grab your meat from you in a little bit. Oh, actually, you know what I do want? I'm just going to grab a couple of these crow feathers real quick. I'm not as diligent as I used to be about grabbing crow feathers. Because you get so many dead carcasses in the story mode. I'm not that worried about it. What do we have over here? Over in this little hidden cove. Anything that rewards our explorative in nature, perhaps? I don't want it to reward it, like, too far out in the middle of nowhere, nowhere by the way. Because I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go that far. But what is, what is that over there? We'll check that out in a second. Limbs. Trays. I can hear a waterfall. I can definitely hear a waterfall. It's on the other side of that goo over there. Let's check this out real quick. Now... You know what? Let's let's hit our map real quick. Actually, we have to hit up Lily's map. All right. So do a bunch of this and then go around here and then drop down. And yeah, that's probably the cave system. And then climb up and then do a whole bunch of crap. Okay. So is it a pain in the ass? Yeah. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But I do want to check just real quick over here because... Ah, oh, man, it's nothing. I was going to say... It looked like it could have been something. I wish that at least maybe there was like a body over here or something for us to grab. That would have been kind of cool. Let us run as fast as our feet can carry us. And actually, I'm, I'm so happy right now. Oh, there's a climbing rope right over there. Curious. Maybe that's where we're supposed to go. I still want to check this cave out. I just can't leave well enough alone, man. When I see a cave, I got to know. Let's go. Right over here. Ah, I see goods. I see a bunch of goods. Is that? What is that right there? Oh, there's another climbing rope. Oh, no, that's a fire. Oh, right there, boys. The rare levitating campfire. When you see a levitating campfire, you better know. Bedroll, not going to worry about it. We have plenty of that. Oh, my God. More matches and everything else. We got firewood over here, which we do not need in any stretch of the imagination because that is going to weigh us down forever. Is there coal back here? There is. So if you wanted to, you could sleep in here as like a waypoint. I don't think we're going to do it though. That's just a rock. That's just a rock. Well, it's a stone. I'm also not worried about the deer. We still have plenty of food in our stomach. And I'm also not worried about the hide and gut because we've got more traveling to do. So I kind of almost felt like that, that tunnel would have went further. That's kind of also why I wanted to check it. But looks like it was just a tiny little tunnel. How are we doing burden-wise? Over here. Yeah, we're a little bit burdened. Um, and let's see if it'll even allow us to climb up this rope. You almost never want to climb with any level of encumbrance because generally it will jack you up big time. Sometimes it won't even let you climb. So let's check it out. Yeah, too encumbered. So right there, we need to get rid of some stuff or we need to eat some stuff. So, let me finish this up real quick. I got like 44 calories of nothingness over here. It's so pointless. Going to eat these nuts over here. So, we did actually eat most of it. And then we're going to go ahead and drink this. And does this get us down to where we need to be? No. Not really. All right. So, we need to drop at least one more thing. All right. I'm dropping the antiseptic. The antiseptic can screw itself. We've got a ton of... A ton of old man's beard lichen. So I'm not worried about... If this rope breaks, by the way, we are screwed. So, pray with me to... I don't think it would do that. The game wouldn't do that to us, right? Well, actually, it did it to us twice now. Didn't it throw us off a cliff twice so far? Ugh. Oh, yeah. All the way up. We made it. Come on, climb your ass up there. There we go. All right, we're set. So, we made it up. Now, I imagine, we head down the pathway over here. Our, we're pretty tired from that. Actually, I'm really glad that I drank that coffee. Because that coffee is probably going to help. Really? I have to balance myself on a tree, on a fallen tree limb? Whatever. I don't even know if this is the right way, actually. This may be like a little hidden area, but whatever. We're doing it anyway, baby. Hidden areas are what the long dark's all about, after all. 
across the tree, what should we find? Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's that waterfall I heard. Cool. And, uh, what is this over here? Is this just like a little area? Ah, it's just like a little area carved out of the rock. Nothing big. Let's go ahead and sprint. We have the, we have the ability. And we have no encumbrance. So there's no reason not to. Oh, yeah. I love the water in this game, too. Another dead deer. All right. I'll grab the crow's feathers. How much meat do you have on you? 1.4 kilograms. Man, there you could get hide and gut everywhere you go in this game. Look at that. Look at the rainbow. Oh, that's freaking sweet. That looks really cool. Past the hidden waterfall of glory. Cattail stalks. You know what? I'm going to grab one of them. Because if I go by and I don't grab a cattail stalk, people are going to be pissed off at me. Man, there are cattail stalks everywhere. If you need a cattail stalk, like if you are low on food and you got to this point in the game, I don't know how you could be low on food in this game right now. But if you are low on food and you got to this point, we've passed so many cattail stalks, you could feed yourself for probably at least three to four days on these cattail stalks alone. And they're still going. They're still going. There's more. Wow. Another waterfall looking freaking sweet. And we have a cave system over here. And what is this? Ooh. Looks like a hell of a drop. That's what it looks like. Hold on. Yep. Looking down below. We can see the lands. I think that's where we need to get to. That was a road over there. The plane's taking me a lot of places. Sorry to leave you here. Now, I gotta find Astrid. Oh, cutscene of sorts. Oh, it's not a cutscene. It's actually me going into this. All right, cedar firewood. Not worried about it. Oh boy, I love caves. Big fan of caves. A lot of light in this cave so far, actually. All right, now I'm. Now there's not that much light. Let's. Uh, let me go ahead and light up the night here for you guys. With our handy dandy lantern. I dropped a lot of lantern fuel, but we still have a lot of lantern fuel. So I'm not worried about it. Piece of coal. I'm gonna grab it. I'd like to get at least a couple of pieces of coal on us because of how long and how hot it burns. They're good to have. They do weigh a lot, though. That's the only issue. A little bit of sticks here and there. No big deal. Let's go ahead and move as swiftly as we can. Ah. A break in the tunnel, is there? Over here, usually these breaks are where you can find an, a couple more pieces of coal. And every once in a while, it'll be like a body or a box or something. Obviously, I don't know about the story mode, but I'm just saying. In the sandbox mode, you had those things over there. More sticks. A little bit of a branch. More cedar firewood. Man, the cedar firewood's there. Where's all the cedar firewood coming from? I'm very curious about this. It's almost as if someone was in here. Oh, uh, we're not encumbered yet, baby. You were carrying around 40 kilograms of stuff for the longest time. We're at like 35 over here. You can deal. You know you can. We're probably getting low on water, which is something that we should think about because uh, you don't want to run out of water, especially because of the amount of time it takes us to boil. I got rid of all of my, my pellets, those little tablets to purify the water. They were just taking up weight and they needed to go, so they're gone. Look at the light shining through there. Looks cool. I like the lighting effects in the game, too. Very pretty. Stalactites and stalagmites and all there, have you? Man, this is a long... This is a long tunnel. Ooh! Flare cedar firewood. Yeah, someone's been in here. They're dropping firewood everywhere they go, too. Keep pushing along. And... Ah, the exit! We found it, boys. We found it! And in a little minute here, we're going to find out exactly where in the hell we are. Because we've been wandering around this- What in the name of God? Get off of them! You dirty scumbag, shoot the damn bear! Alright. Oh, I didn't even get to shoot it. I was kind of hoping it would let me shoot it. Now I'm going to tell you. In the long dark- Whoa! Our heartfelt thanks to the 1.3 million players that took a chance in Long Dark when it first, when it was first on Kickstarter and then on Early Access and Game Preview. Your steadfast support of our efforts has helped us get where we are today. We hope it was worth the wait. Okay, cool. So that's the end of this chapter. And remember, there is the next chapter after this that we have to go into. Now, 
a lot of you guys are kind of wondering where the Long Dark series uh, was, especially the story mode and stuff like that. With story games like this, I know they lose momentum uh, on YouTube very quickly, and that's kind of the problem. That's why a lot of people don't end up finishing them, because it kind of it kind of harms the channel, and YouTube kicks you in the chicklets when you uh, don't do well enough, so to speak, uh, because of the way the way that the algorithm works. But I'm really glad that we were able to finish this chapter. If you guys do want me to play through the second chapter, you gotta let me know uh, with some support on the series for sure. Just because I love the game, it's just tough. Like I said, the story the story style of games have always been tough for YouTube. Um, so it's just one of the, it's just one of the sad realities, I guess. Everyone loves streaming that stuff, but not many people love just uploading the episodes to YouTube. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me through the chapter here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.